at the NPS Expo at the Sky Saver exhibit, and I used to have an office job a few stories up, and since I have a preparedness mindset, kind of, I would look out the window and I'd already figure out which trees I was going to jump to and stuff like that to get out in case of a fire, but not everyone has that option, especially if they're multiple stories up. So you guys actually come up with a backpack that has a built-in, like a decelerator, I guess, with a cable attached to yeah, so why don't you tell us about how that works? Sure, it's a controlled descent device. The whole concept is, everyone's been in the building, but do you, like you said, have you looked outside? Right. Um, previous job I had, I was on the 11th floor at uh, Five Pet Plaza in New York. <laughs> and first day, I looked to see if there were a fire, how would I escape? Right. How would you do there were two doors, both doors went out to the elevator. Same place. I looked around the office, I saw one window that opened up. I went out and I bought rope, a safety harness, carabiners, and I was ready to use it if I needed yeah. to. Um, when I moved on to another position, I moved on to this company because of what we're doing. Yeah. Again, it's a backup, it's a last resort type item. So if you're in a fire, a terror attack, or any natural or man-made disaster, yeah. it's your last resort and it works 100% of the time. We've tested it, we continue to test. Awesome. It's a great product. It goes up to 25 stories. 25 stories, that's it. And the descent time is one second, uh, six feet per second. So it's fairly gentle. You're not very, very slow, you will come down and you will stand. As you land, you will be standing. Okay. Uh, we've tested it so many times, uh, six stories, eight stories, ten stories, twenty stories. It's always been successful. And the cable resistance is 2,100 pounds. It, ups, it holds up to a 300 pound man and a minimum of a 50 pound child. Okay, so anything less than 50 pounds and it won't really lower down? No, we have another another device which is a chair. It is attached to the CDD and okay. you just drop the infant on the chair and it just brings them down at the down. same speed as this okay. chair. And just drop the quick port, pull this out, and it's, that's ready to go. Now you take this unit here. I don't need shoulder. Did they come up first? Um, this one on. This product. So it's starting at the price. It's not in the market. Okay. Now you go like this. Clean yeah, this up. Yeah. Now I can just put the box. I was about to order. This here, and you're ready to go. Just anchor that off. Anchor it off anywhere, put it around a table, and you're ready to go. Good deal. Now I'm going to show you one more thing at the real speed it comes down to. Are you ready? Yeah, let's see what we got. Okay, let it go. This is the descent. And that's pretty much the same that's speed. That's the descent speed. Or if you say 50,000, in reality, if you're 2,000, that's your descent speed you see there. so high itself. Thank you. Awesome. So what the, what is the actual mechanism? Friction based or how does that work? Inside there, if you imagine a... Um, I'll show you what's inside. Okay. If, if you imagine a disc brake system for a vehicle... So it's got like a rotor basically. Yeah, so it's really a friction. So it is friction. If you're 50 okay. pounds, you know, you'll come down and see. Because it's like a, almost like a drum, I guess? Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's almost got like a big a friction drum inside this. So more weight is working, it's working on a centrifugal force. Okay, so centrifugal and braking system. Excellent. That's really cool. And you have, yeah, there's three different versions depending on how high you want to be up. Depending how many cable, how much cable we want to put. Right. We go we go a 25 meter, which is 75 feet or 80 feet. Right. There's the system. Yeah. So the big pulley with the drum inside. You can see the system in here. There's the cable system. Excellent. And this is how it works. That's it, pretty straightforward. And then you just go right down, and then you just unbuckle it backwards in the way you put it on, and That's it. it's ready to go. And now you really used cool. it. Now so what do you do? It. You send it back to us. Yeah. We, we could rewind this, but we don't want people to do that. So you, you, you send it, it back to us. It to us. We refurbish Minimal it. charge, we refurbish, just recertify and send it back to us. Okay, that's awesome. So you, like you mentioned before, some people may have bought rope or something, but you can't not, the average person can't just rope and get no, out of a 25 story not. building. The other thing is, yeah. you notice we put a lot of thought into this. Right. Um, you don't have to tie a Swiss seed or Originally, we were looking at a safety harness. Right. Have you ever put a safety harness on? I have. I've done repelling and everything. How long does that take you? It takes five, a while, yeah. yeah five minutes Several if you've minutes. never done it. This takes 15 seconds. Right. Well, it's five minutes if you have done it. If you've yeah. never done it before, you may not get it right. Exactly. At all. So this, and anyone can just throw it on. If you look back 14 years ago, the average burn rate of a room, once the fire breaches a door, Imagine it's pretty was quick. about 28 minutes. Do you know what it is today? Oh, Under wow. four. Really? The reason is materials? New materials coming out of Asia, wow. you know, carpeting, uh, anything. And it just 
average brewing could buy our sweets right through there. Yes. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, the first place I actually heard of this was in Sky Mall, I think. I saw yes, the ad that you guys had in there. Exactly. We're in Sky Mall. Like, that's really cool. So uh, yeah. it's cool to see you guys here. Okay. All right, so here's, so there's, I, I'm in my office and there's some fire, something I need to get out. I've got my bag out of the. I'm just here. So I'll grab that. Pull, pull, it, pull, pull hard. There pull you go. Out. All right, put it on. Put the strap on. Pressure's go. on. Put the other one on. Good, reach to the bottom. Like that. There you go. Snap it there. And this goes in. Snap it there. Pull your sides. You're ready to go. All right, and then I jump. Let's float safely to the ground. Pretty cool. That's right. That was quick. That was fast. Was that even 15 seconds? That's I think I did, less than 15 I did seconds. pretty quick. And here's your carabiner. And then when you get, yeah, so you, you lock this into your anchor. You could have one pre made or just anything heavy enough. And exactly. Go out. And then when you get down to the bottom, all you do is let it you go. take it off. Ready to go and you're safe. Pretty cool. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot for letting us uh, Thank you try that out. Bye bye now.